Another thing I suck at is using lists effectively. Now I don't suck completely at lists because one of the things that I do is I make a real point of anybody that I deal with on Empire Avenue to you know uh, add them to my watch list and and uh, support them in that way. You know particularly anybody that buys uh, buys shares or or does something that helps me. Um, but where I suck on lists is that I don't do enough um, with uh, favored content list and the recommended buys list. I have people on both of those, but I've done nothing to be comprehensive. It's been a bit random for me, and I need to, um, to take steps to sort of be more consistent in what I do in that regard. Um, I would certainly, you know, a tip I would have is is recommend that anybody else take a look at that and, you know, see ways that you can be more consistent in your use of it. And yes, again, this is another feature that, you know, is maybe not as intuitive as it as it could be. Um, it's easy to forget about. Uh, I, I've certainly said that. Um, content discovery is uh, a challenge on Empire Avenue. I would love to see something that showed you the most recommended content on Empire Avenue um, across you know all people. I think that the best content would start to filter uh, to the top so um, there's things that can be better but I believe that I can be using it better uh, even as it's um, organized and I know lots of other people have uh, said the same thing to me. So. Yeah, I suck at lists uh, in some ways and uh, need to work on it some more. The next thing that I suck at is I suck at engaging my outside network within Empire Avenue. Um, you know, I got uh, friends who just are not nearly as geeky as I am and uh, I can't get them to sign up on Empire Avenue. I can't, you know, I just can't get them that interested. And um, I think that, that this is a huge missed opportunity um, in some ways for some of them, because I do believe that Empire Avenue, uh, you know, can or certainly will provide real networking value uh, going forward. But also I think it's a missed opportunity for me because, you know, if you've got your friends buying your shares and supporting you and, and uh, you know, maybe uh, contributing content together or whatever, that that's a, a very positive thing. And th there's been others on Empire Avenue that have been very successful at engaging their outside network and bringing them into Empire Avenue. So, uh, you know, my tip here would be look at ways that you can do that and I think it will really benefit you. Another way that I suck at uh, Empire Avenue is that I um, suck at building momentum through providing value. And you saw that I, uh, you may have seen that I've written uh, a couple of blog posts on momentum investing versus uh, value or fundamentals um, investing. And, uh, you know, uh, you can read those to to understand the the difference between the two. I know how to play the Empire Avenue game, and I played it fairly aggressively. Uh, you know, when I uh, signed up and sort of rose my stock from ten bucks up to uh, you know the uh, the sixty uh, the sixty Eve. I said ten bucks, but the sixty Eve, the ten Eve, the sixty Eve level. Um, but you know, I got such that uh, I, I found the aggressive gaming myself. I, I grew tired of it, quite frankly. I, the, the, you know, I, I wrote a post about what do you do when the addiction wears off, and, and, and I want to focus on providing value. But I have to say that, that along with a couple of other things, uh, that has come at, at a price. Um, uh, I could do things that would move my share price more, um, but by focusing on value, I've had some limit on that. And I, I've had some people that absolutely, the reason that they own my shares is because they like the blog post that I do on Empire Building or they find that I've been helpful in other ways. They are supporting me because I provide value. Um, Empire Avenue talks a lot about you know, uh, the influencers and uh, people supporting uh, the people that influence them and building influence. Well, 
uh, I really want to build influence in that way and have not cracked that. So for those of you that are saying, hey, my own gameplay is evolving and, and uh, I want to focus more on value and holding and uh, buying and holding and, and that sort of thing, you know, it's a, it's a topic to give uh, real thought to. And if you see ways to increase the momentum of your share price, while still providing, you know, a, a value focus to uh, to your time on Empire Avenue, you know, by all means, uh, that's the kind of thing that you can share, uh, and it won't diminish your success at all. And would love to hear people's thoughts on that. The next way that I um, suck at Empire Avenue is uh, in building what I would call active and real world influence. I have a lot of people that uh, have been very supportive in terms of buying my shares or retweeting my content, uh, uh, commenting on things that I've done, being uh, very thankful and appreciative and supportive. Absolutely. So I, I, I can't stress that enough. But, you know, I, I, I sort of say I, I take it so far and I've really not put together a good game plan or how do I turn that into real sort of sustainable, active influence? So, um, you know, I've had some conversations with people about uh, real-world opportunities thanks to Empire Avenue, but not leverage that into any real-world things. Now, I'm patient. It can still come in the future and, and the like, but I don't have a, a strong game plan for how I'm going to do that. Um, built a lot of momentum for a period of time in uh, the Empire Building Network, uh, but you know, getting people to write on a regular basis. I, I used to write a newspaper column. I can tell you, it can be a big monkey on your back. It's a lot of work to to blog, uh, to write, uh, or to do video posts on a regular basis, and it's a commitment that's hard for people to maintain. Um, I've not done a good job at. Um, being successful at getting people to to maintain that commitment. So there's a couple of different ways that you know I haven't really created that active, uh, sustainable, uh, or real world influence. And uh, you know it's something to think about as you sort of go, hey, I've had fun with the game, and you go, what's next? You know, what's going to be your strategy for doing that? And again, I, I welcome people to to share thoughts on that regard. So the tenth and uh, final way that I'll share today that I suck at Empire Avenue is that um, I suck at doing everything I want to do related to the to the site. Um, you know, I, I've talked about uh, in the past some of the things that I'd like to accomplish, and and uh, I've I've certainly done some of them, uh, had some good success. But uh, there has been more that I that I want to do, and I, you know, I just I haven't got there yet. So, for example, I really want to have a wiki that uh, allows people to, you know, come and get a, uh, here's your guide to using Empire Avenue if you're new, you know. Um, blog posts work in a chronological order, and if you're really trying to figure out where to start uh, as a beginner, uh, it's not the best format for finding information. So that's just one area on a place that I fall down. I want to, I would love to have a podcast. I would love just to sit down and, you know, have a partner that I chatted with once a week about Empire Avenue. And uh, I haven't made that happen. Um, uh, so, you know, lots that, I, that I'd like to do and, and take it to the next level. And it's just hard because, you know, I've got a real life, got to work, I've got to pay the bills. Uh, and just blogging every day, which is one of the things that I don't suck at, uh, I don't get every day, but I uh, uh, blog quite a bit, um, it's uh, hard to get to everything. So, I, you know, I suck at getting everything I'd love to do. Anyway, uh, this has been a long uh, uh, video already. That's it. Top 10 reasons. That uh, or top ten ways that I suck at Empire Avenue. How many times have I said that now? Let me hear your thoughts on things that you can do better, uh, or uh, ways that you've addressed some of these ways that I suck. Uh, you know, so that you've been successful. Uh, I'm a great believer in sharing with the group, and that uh, when we do that, uh, even though we're giving away 
you know, maybe uh, inside tips and things that it, it comes back and benefits us. So that's it. Now, um, next time I'm going to be a little bit more positive, or at least at some point in the future, uh, be a little bit more upbeat and talk about ways that uh, uh, I actually think I do a pretty good job at uh, Empire Avenue, things that I uh, have had great success with. So that's it for now. Again, I'm Bill Pitcher, and happy empire building.